Who is Ben Thick? Also known as Two Tubes because he was eggmates with Edrio. He is a Tongnath species, which is a humanoid and insectoid like species. They have an endo and exoskeleton. They, they have also a very primitive nervous system, and this provides them with uh, immunity to a lot of pain, which is very helpful in combat. So, like I said, they are a Tongnath species, and they were born on Yar Tonga, which I believe is the homeworld of the, Tong the Tongnath species, which is a high-gravity planet, Yar Tonga, and that's why um, it produces, you know, like toxic fumes alongside with that. So that's why they have to wear the, the, you know, the tubes. And that's obviously how they get the name two tubes. But so the planet produces toxic fumes and Yartongo was conquered by the Empire as well, which, you know, people had to flee, you know, flee this planet because of that. You know, when it was conquered by the Empire, it was extracted for its resources. So this created refugees. And as they were refugees, um, they were terrorized by Crimson Dawn, same thing with their people, and they eventually end up joining Enfi's Nest and the Cloud Riders, which I think is a great little connection to like tie this character in because he appears first in Rogue One. That's where we first see this character. But he eventually makes his way to Saw Guerrero's number two. And you know, in later, you know, parts of the Galactic Civil War, he meets up with Luke and Leia, but I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, but I think that this character is it is exactly what you want a character in Star Wars to be. You know, this character doesn't have a lot of screen time in Rogue One, but when you see him, he's got a cool, um, you know, image. It, like, the character has a cool image, so then you're intrigued about it, so then you go, like, you go looking about, like, who is this? And then we figure out, like, oh, they also worked in uh, the Cloud Riders, which eventually we saw in Solo, which is just, like, a great little connection between the two movies you know with that one character that if you aren't looking for it or if you don't know it you'll never see it but it's 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 there and present in star wars and that's what i've always kind of liked about star wars is how they you know put these characters in the, in these uh places that uh that how everything all ties in together and of course like i said he ends up being saw Guerrero's number two because he ends up fighting the empire with the partisans and also with the cloud riders so a very very experienced fighter uh his Eggmate Erido would eventually die, you know, this is you know, continuation of fighting for the Partisans and whatnot. But I just really like this character because there's a lot to learn from this character in terms of like the world of Star Wars. Like it definitely took me to a lot of new places when I was looking at like looking up everything in the wiki. But just a very small character that adds a lot to the Star Wars universe, and that's exactly what you want from your characters in Star Wars. And more characters need to be implemented in this way where it's, you know, we don't actually figure out who this character is a couple movies in, or um, they they play very small roles, very small roles inside of the Star Wars universe that could potentially play up into a, a greater um, greater moment as well. But great character, uh, that is Benthic. That's who he is. He's pretty cool. Um, other than that, until next video, goodbye.